first of all, thanks for having me here, Select Discovery Courageous. And yes, I'm a fashion model for more than 12 years and currently I'm handling an LP's modeling academy and agencies. I think because of my height, when I study, all my lecturers and teachers like tell me, I still remember my taxation teacher come to my table and say, you're so tall, you should go be a model. So it's like everyone around me like encouraged me to be a model. So I was thinking, mm, maybe I should try because I know as a model, height is quite important as a runway model. And I think that my height is what God given to me. So I think I should have make use of it. So I just go for it and try. Well, if you say one week before, I will strictly diet, okay? And also make sure my skin condition is good. And before the day of the shows, I need to pack my models back to make sure uh, the necessary things that I need to bring along and some snack, water, and also sleep early and put on masks because you know, skin is very important, especially for the next day they put on your makeup on your face. You need to really look good on the work day. Okay, before the show, sometimes I feel excited, but sometimes I feel nervous. Depends the stage, like it depends the show. But the moment when I step out, I totally don't have the nervous already. It's like, yeah, something you already uh, practice for so long and you just need to uh, remember that you are the most beautiful on stage and that is how you overcome your fears. I remember each time every show I did, even though there's nobody give me feedback, I would still go and ask the audience or the friends who are sitting downstairs or agent or choreographer and ask, how is my performance? How is my catwalk? Like each time, every time. And then also I check on the videos and then tell them, well, where should I improve and what do you think about my walk? Then from their feedback, I, I, was, I will analyze it and then after, after that, I will do some practice and improvements. Well, I actually gather all the instructors who are still actively in modeling and also they, they actually went for overseas like me. I also have overseas experience and then um, we have that intent to help those students not only to teach them in modeling but also help them to build their modeling career not only in Malaysia but in overseas. So sometimes the student, we personalize them, their style, their walk, catwalk. Not only that, we also are helping ladies who maybe not really want to be a model, but also they want to know how to walk good on the high heels. I feel like this is very important because when I was young, like 18 years old, I wanted to dress up like an adult and I want to wear on high heels, but I, I have no confidence on wearing it because nobody teach me. When I walk on the street, I also see students and also ladies who dress up very nice, but they couldn't really walk good on high heels. So I think that actually um, we need uh, someone to teach us how to wear on high heels, not because you want to be a model, but you want to walk elegant with the outfit that you are wearing. I purposely asked the designer to design more arch <laughs> heels. Because you know why, when I went to um, Milan, I remember during the casting, the designer gave me a pair of heels. Because in Malaysia, I used to wear platform, okay, which is more comfortable. But in overseas, those designer heels are no platform and very arch. And I realized it's not easy to walk. And then so when I come back to Malaysia and when I have a modeling academy, that is why I asked the designer, say I want the most challenging heels for my student to practice so that no matter uh, when they go out for work, the designer give any pair of shoes, they can handle it. Ah, <laughs> definitely anorexia model. <laughs> My bone structure is quite wide. When I wanted to go overseas, that time, during that time, Asian face is not really high demand in Europe. So I have to go knock door by door because there's no social media during my time. So I need to find the list and then I really go bring my books and nobody tell me what should I do because I don't have any uh, teachers or agency to really guide me what to do. The first year I went, so I realized their market 
they wanted so much skinny and I didn't know that. Now it's different, they want healthy. But from my time, they want anorexia, like zero size. But you still, you still can see, even though they, they say no anorexia, but still there is designer requested anorexia. So I really hope that this trend, because it's unhealthy. Oh, I think the best thing is like most of the Malaysian actually vaccinated and I'm really happy for it. And then finally MCO is over and now it's, it's getting like back to normal. The event started back, yeah. Um, I would say durian um, because durian uh, prefer hot weather like me, okay. But as I can also, no matter how much is the price of the durian expensive, those who like it, those who treasure it, they're willing to spend for it. And no matter how cheap is the durian, those who don't like it, they think it's very smelly, they're not willing to taste it. So modeling is the same, very subjective. Sometimes we go casting, they just look at your physical beauty. Some they like you very much and some they don't. So you just be yourself and you know your self value and you must accept that modeling, it's just like modeling, people like you, people reject you, not because you are not good, it's just that the, your look is not right to them. So I feel like the durian is the same thing. <laughs> For the beginning stage of the modeling, the financial is not stable because as a model, and there's not much opportunity when you start your modeling. So that is how you struggle your reality and dream jobs. Okay, but I'm glad I graduated in accounting. So for financial planning, it's very important in modeling. So that is a quite challenging. And also, you know, modeling, sometimes you have peak season and low season. So during the peak season, wow, you are very like self-confidence because you have a lot of jobs. And then when low, then you feel doubt yourself. Like, are you really meant for this industry sometimes in the beginning? But after years, then you already accept, yes, there's a peak, there's a low. So when you low, you just have to improve yourself, do some uh, self-enrichment. So I think that's most challenging when you have to go through up and down, up and down, and also competitive industry and how you outstanding from others. And because joy modeling is very easy, but to maintain the career for years is not easy. I would advise them to explore, ex try to explore more what they like to do and then just go for it and try, okay? Life is so short, right? Just do it and always dare to dream because if, you, if you're not dare to dream, you will never go for it and you will know, never know what it might change your life, you know?